welcome to Janet's Planet, where we're traveling at the speed of thought. And I'm wondering who out there might know the answer to this. Which planet is closest to the sun? Mercury? Great answer. Next question. How hot is it on Venus? Really hot. <laughs> very, very hot. In fact, 920 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, I bet somebody knows the answer to this question. How far away is the Earth from the sun? 17 million miles. A few more. 64 million miles. A few more million miles. 100 million miles. Oops, a few less million miles. 93 million miles. That's right, 93 million miles away from the sun. Now, why is Mars red? It's his favorite color. <laughs> Great answer. Mars is red because of iron oxide. In fact, Mars kind of looks like a rusty frying pan. Jupiter is the big gas giant in our solar system. But can anybody tell me what the rings of Saturn are made of? Onion rings. <laughs> the rings of Saturn are made of ice, snow, and little rocky things. I have heard from many of you, and I know you're disappointed that Pluto is no longer considered a real planet. The International Astronomical Union voted in 2006 that to be called a planet, you have to meet at least three criteria. First of all, you have to orbit the sun, and then you have to have sufficient enough mass so that you assume a hydrostatic equilibrium. What Janet means is a nearly round shape. She's right. Thanks, Betty Jo. And you have to clear the path in your neighborhood around your orbit. Well, Pluto only meets two of them. So we wanted to see what Pluto really has to say after 76 years in our solar system. So, Pluto, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm uh, not busy crossing my name out of the textbooks or cutting me off the solar system mobile. All because I trade places with Neptune every now and then. Big deal. This must be a real blow to your planet esteem. Have you thought about maybe moving to another universe? Move? Did you say move? All I do is move. I move around the sun every 248 years. So my orbit's a tad irregular. A little cosmic prune juice and I'll be right as rain. You'll see. Pluto! Pluto, come back! Come back! I we still love you. I mean, we know you're a little <laughs> icy around the edges, but we still have a warm spot for you. Hmm. You know what I think? I think what would make Pluto feel really good is if we were to send him a card to cheer him up. Did somebody say cheer? P L U T O. It's time for you to fly solo. P L U T O. I love you, and I'll never let you go. I think we should all do the cheer with Betty Jo. P L U T O, it's time for you to fly solo. P L U T O, I love you and I'll never let you go. Wow, thanks for helping me pull my orbit together. <laughs> <laughs>